The Cystic Fibrosis community is invited to participate in a series of videos and podcasts on individuals that are living, breathing, succeeding with cystic fibrosis. This video, Thriving with CF and the Feeding Tube, was made possible through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech to the Boomer Esiason Foundation. Today you will meet Gunnar Esiason, 21 years old, with CF, living independently, enjoying college life as a senior at Boston College, and gearing up for law school. Well, uh, I'm 21 years old, a senior at Boston College. I was diagnosed when I was two, um, and I'm trying to enjoy my senior year of college. strong-willed, outspoken kind of person, just knows what he wants. Living with Gunner is the same as living with any other person. You don't really notice he has CF. Well, the decision to really think about getting a feeding tube to begin with was uh, my sophomore year of college. Um, on top of a lung infection that I developed, I actually had pancreatitis, um, so my weight dropped considerably. It went all the way down to 135, um, and I'm 6'2", 6'3", a pretty big person. The surgery is very easy. Basically what happens is when they first put the tube in, they make the incision, and they give you like a 12-inch tube. The 12-inch tube stays in four to six weeks. After that period, they pull it out, then they insert what we call a button. The button is literally like an inch big. Uh, I have a hairy stomach, but this is my button. Basically the tube goes in here, pop it open, tube goes in, and then you're eating. So when, when the tube first goes in, they set a goal weight for you. And then once you reach that goal weight, you can see if you can maintain your weight there. The way you do it is you lean off the feeding tube, do it every other night, you do it three times a week. You can see if you can hold that weight. If you can hold the weight, then you, know, you can take it out. The tube is essentially another mouth. But the great thing about it is you don't have to taste it. Everyone knows protein shakes taste awful. Hook up the tube, pour the protein shake in. 15 minutes later, you drink a protein shake. During the day, it could be anywhere from 500 to you know 1,500 calories during the day. Um, I do 2,000 calories overnight. Sometimes I'll do a little more. I could be up around 5,000 calories, which is whenever I, whenever I tell people that, they're like, "Wow!" Just completely blown away. He's on the Michael Phelps diet right now. He got 2,000 calories overnight. Since you're sleeping, you're not really moving around. You take so many enzymes that it just kind of sits in your stomach and digests the food for you overnight. So the enzymes play a major role. You can do crunches, you can do sit-ups, swim with it, go to the gym with it. The feeding tube hasn't stopped him from doing anything. He still plays intramural hockey, he's on our flag football team. I definitely see him body up a little bit more on defense. When you do put the weight on, your body fights infections more naturally. Colds that would stick around for you know, five or six days, now only lasts two or three days. Whenever I wash something, it's with warm water, warm to hot water. I don't even have to use boiling water or soap. None of the equipment has to be sterile because it's dealing directly with your digestive tract. The number one adjustment that I've had to make was learning how to sleep with it. Um, I was someone that used to sleep on my stomach or my side. You gotta learn how to sleep on your back or, you know, tilted towards the machine so that you don't get tangled in the feed. It's a little bit of a change, but you get used to it. It is like eating, so it does fill you up. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like when I wake up every morning, I do feel like I just ate Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I mean, you just ingested 2,000 calories overnight. I can't say that I've enjoyed breakfast ever since I've had it. Um, I've sort of had to let it go. But I do eat regularly throughout the day. I eat lunch, dinner, snacks. I mean, I'm also a growing kid and I like to eat food. He was a little skeptical about it. Um, I think we all were at first. I didn't know like how much of a change it would make in his life. After a while, once it really started to kick in and when he started to really gain weight, it was definitely the right thing. I think it was something that he really needed. When the feeding tube first got put in, I think I started at 142. I got all the way up to 165, you know, with the blink of an eye. Now I'm weighing in at 175, and my goal that the hospital has set for me is 180, 185. Honestly, it changed the way he looked, his face filled out, his body filled out, and just like even his skin, like he looks like a healthier person. My fees went up immediately. 
almost overnight. My hair got thicker, my beard <laughs> started growing. Uh, I also had a gut, which I had never had ever in my life. You have a lot more energy. The first time I got on the ice, after you know having the feeding tube for about a month or a month and a half, and having gained 15, 20 pounds, I, I just felt so much better, so much like more comfortable. If you are underweight and you have trouble putting weight on, I would 100% recommend getting the feeding tube put in. Your FVs will come up, your lifestyle is, is immediately gonna improve. Everything just becomes easier, you're gonna become stronger, you're gonna put weight on, you're gonna feel better. It's gonna be easier to breathe, you can go work out, you're gonna have more energy, strength to do whatever you want.